Good day everyone, today we will talk about probabilistic sensitivity analysis using R. Our simplified study design is as follows, subjects will uh, have either treatment A or treatment B and we collect cost data and effect data, uh, make a cost effectiveness analysis and uh, probabilistic sensitivity analysis and we will focus uh, here on using R as a tool for doing probabilistic sensitivity analysis and account for uncertainty. For simplicity, we will assume that treatment A and B uh, contain one single medication A and B respectively. Uh, treatment A will be more effective but also more expensive than treatment B and hence treatment B will be our base case. So once we design our study and collect the data, it will be either effect data um, composed of uh, symptom free days uh, during the study period and cost data composed of uh, data for treatment A which is a new program and uh, treatment B which is a base case or usual care. Uh, we will uh, collect the data of uh, ER visit number of visits and cost of uh, visits, uh, hospitalization days and hospitalization cost and also medication units cost and medication units consumed for each treatment uh, and this is a sample data set that is simulated using the code uh, for simulation of the data set. The link to this uh, script is in the video description. Uh, again, it's very simple data set. Uh, contains the ID of the subject, the group uh, to which uh, the subject is assigned, the symptom fr free days uh, during the study period for uh, the subject in question, the number of ER visits and the ER visit cost, hospitalization days and uh, hospitalization cost uh, per, per stay, the medication units used and medication unit uh, cost. Here the medication unit cost will be fixed uh, for simplicity for both medication A and B. Calculating the cost and effect variables, uh, the cost difference and the effect difference and then the incremental cost eff effectiveness ratio by dividing the cost difference over uh, the effect difference however we will have to account for uncertainty and to do this we will have to fit the distributions of our variables uh, there are many ways to fit distribution uh, using uh, commercial software or using R itself to fit distribution of the variables here is uh, uh, our data set we fit our distribution they are visit costs and hospitalization cost per stay uh, follow normal distribution with uh, this mean and this standard deviation again this mean for hospitalization cost and standard deviation for hospitalization cost uh, the effect also follow normal distribution and um, uh, for both A and B uh, the ER visits, hosp hosp hospital days and medication units for group A and B uh, follow Poisson distribution and uh, um, this is the corresponding lambda values for each uh, variable. Now to proceed with our probabilistic sensitivity analysis we already have for each variable in the model a probability distribution uh, estimated uh, then we proceed with bootstrapping. So this uh, is a screenshot from the R uh, during the simulation uh, R is uh, uh, running all willingness to pay values and for each uh, willingness to pay value uh, 10,000 simulations run and the calculation of ICER uh, uh, then uh, getting the probability uh, of uh, cost effectiveness and uh, probability that treatment A is cost effective and then store uh, it in um, a data frame and then plot the cost effectiveness acceptability curve as we will see in the next few minutes. So how many uh, uh, simulations should we run? W why we chose uh, 10,000 simulations? This publication here uh, recommends in its conclusion that uh, we, use, we should use 10,000 sim simulations as it uh, gives uh, a stable mean uh, without excessive computational burden. So let's have a look at uh, R. This script here is used to simulate uh, the data set for our study and uh, you can put uh, the sample size that you want for uh, treatment A or treatment B. You can adjust uh, uh, the distributions or uh, the parameters that you want to uh, get uh, uh, your uh, 
um, sample size and uh, sorry to get your simulated data set and uh, here at the end uh, a t-test is performed uh, to compare um, the significance of the difference between um, the symptom free days between group A and B and this line here writes uh, the simulated data set as a CSV file so let's try it so here is our simulated data set and you can find it in the working directory as a CSV file so let's uh, now run our model in R what we see here is uh, 10,000 simulation for each uh, willingness to pay that we put here and after uh, these simulations uh, cost effectiveness acceptability curve will be plotted as we see here good luck and thank you